Holy moly, what's up, peeps? Hope we're all doing well. I spent all of yesterday watching someone play MW2 as if it were, I don't know, my eighth grade year. And somewhere back in middle school, I was back in my parents' couch in the basement, and I just watched this stream for hours and hours. I was wondering, how the heck is this even possible? Well, apparently Call of Duty has fixed the server issues and brought back servers for a lot of the old Call of Duty titles. If you guys can actually work Xbox uh, backwards compatibility or have an Xbox 360, it seems that several of these titles, well, they now have player bases back and active on them, notable ones being MW2 and Black Ops 1. I believe BO2 and some other titles also have player bases, but I think the main focus for now has been MW2 and Black Ops 1. And with the return of these lobbies somehow being fixed out of nowhere, it has a lot of people speculating as to why this even is the case. And with the recent supposed merger going through of Microsoft over Activision Blizzard, people thinking maybe this has something to do with a future Game Pass being involved in bringing back all of these titles, and maybe that is somehow tied to the cease and desist being sent to all the third-party platforms who have been providing these old titles a way to play them safely. We talked about that months ago, even FaZe Jev coming in and saying, you know, F Activision for what they were doing. Maybe it is all for the right reasons. Maybe it is to actually bring Call of Duty back, and we've seen so many people tweeting about this, so much gameplay out there that it's just, it's like a nostalgia bomb, man. It's like looking at old RuneScape images or gameplay, it just sends me back to like some of the best years of my life. Instant nostalgia, but can it really last? Can it fill that void that we're all looking for in the actual old Call of Duty titles? <laughs> Oh, everyone is leaving the game, bro. We are just dominating. There it is. Oh, go, go. Okay, Harrier. You got him, buddy. You can put up one more. I know you can. Oh, this kid just hit a sick clip. I need to get one more, bro. One more kill. No, it got stolen. Oh, I'll read the donut one second. And a lot of people commenting so far, I unfortunately don't have access. I'm a PC guy, so that sucks. I'll have to go to Plutonium if I want to play Plutonium Project and play those throwback Call of Duties, which is still fine and dandy. But when it comes to on Xbox 360 or with backwards compatibility, we have seen a lot of these old lobbies fire up. Some people complain about lobbies not filling, but a lot of them are. Of course, there are complaints about some lobbies being filled with hackers because some people just never grow up. And then there's also been some issues of complaints when it comes to latency or connection to those servers. So we'll see how that progresses in the future, how things maybe, you know, improve in the future as well regardless it's been crazy i've just been watching streams man I, I just go through youtube and, and find some some youtubers doing this and uh, i just watch some gameplay it doesn't last too long but it is still really fun for me to watch i'm not a huge b uh, bo kind of guy but it's just been enjoyable to watch. I wish I could play, but I'm a PC rat. So I got a question for you guys. Is this enough though? You know, we've been begging and hoping for these kind of things. And I, I, I got to think, I've seen a lot of comments on both sides. Like it's never gonna be the same. Like it's fun for a few hours, maybe a few weeks, but it's just not the same as when it first came out. And I think I lean towards that side. Other people love just creating content, streaming this stuff, and they can play it all day long because it is better than the last three or four Call of Duties, in my opinion, or at least in some of theirs as well. So do you guys think this is enough? What do you think is part of the plan? Is, are they going to bring all these games back and, and offer them to the public? Or, or what is Call of Duty going to do with them? And what does that mean for the future third-party projects like Plutonium or people still providing the old Call of Duty titles in a safe way to play them? Who knows? But Call of Duty is back and it's being revived for now with the old titles. And that's what a lot of people wanted. So we'll see what happens next. Till next time, it's going to be a big old day around here. Thanks for subbing. Thanks for leaving comments, and we'll see you back here sometime soon. Drink up water and, and coffee, okay? Bye.